Hi everybody, this is Scott Blue. I just decided to make this quick video to show you this cool workaround I found to stream non stream uh, to use Steam in home streaming, this beta that I got accepted to recently, to stream games that aren't on Steam, like say like Mass Effect 3, which is on Origin, or Battlefield 4. And you want to be able to play those games. Well, Origin, whatever reason, and EA don't want to share with Steam, and that's a whole other topic, but what happens if you want to play a game like that? I'm currently work, trying to work and beat Mass Effect 3, so I was like, well, I wanted to know if I could try it. So I was experimenting, and I found a way, a workaround, to make Steam stream content from your desktop or any other program, really, onto your streaming machine. As for my Steam client, um, uh, Steam machine right now is um, my old Dell HP, lap, uh, HP Pavilion laptop. It's from 2006. It's got a NVIDIA GeForce 7600 Go and a dual-core Intel Centrino mobile dual-core processor. Um, so it's rather old. And it's running, and I don't even have Windows running on it, we're running Linux, uh, Ubuntu 12.4, long release edition, just because, like I said, it's got like 2 gigs of RAM, it's a really old machine. Sorry about it being blurry, uh, my iPhone's not functioning with me today and focusing on the screen. But anyways, so how do you go about doing this? Well, first, I found that it helps to launch Mass Effect 3 on your gaming PC or the host box. So we're going to go ahead and launch Mass Effect 3. Oh, come on, get in focus. There we go. And it's launching. I also found that you have to have the game running in window mode. Now, luckily for me, Mass Effect 3 has a window mode where it runs borderless window mode. So it's still very much windowed there. Now, with Steam running on the remote client, we're going to say, Oh, I want to stream... I want to stream Tomb Raider 1. I decided, if you don't own Tomb Raider 1, it's really cheap. Buy it, and it hard, uses hardly. I decided to go with Tomb Raider 1 because it takes up no resources. It's very, very lightweight. Um, it's a game from 1996, and it happens to be on Steam, so that'll launch. And it'll launch DOSBox, and DOSBox is running, and it proceeds to load Tomb Raider 1. And so what we'll do is minus that out, and we'll minus this out. Oops, we had an error. It's not 100% perfect, but we'll go again and reconnect over here. And click Stream. And it'll reconnect. And now all we've got to do on the host PC is switch to Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 now, uh, if you go over here, is now on the streaming machine. We'll hit continue. We are now controlling it through my laptop. Uh, using in-home streaming to stream beta to stream an EA Origin game on Linux. On an 8-year-old laptop. We were playing Mass Effect 3. So we're going to go ahead and let this load. It's connecting to the EA servers. And we're going to go ahead and resume. Come on. Come on. Oops. And it's going to go ahead and load. And we're going to go ahead. See, I'm controlling it on the laptop. And now we are running up and running. Now, it might start hicking up in here because I am wireless on both of my connections. And I'm kind of far from my connection point. But I don't think it's doing too bad. And I'm very happy to say that it works. It's running on both. And on uh, the host and the client, and it's doing great. Right now we're doing about, uh, where's my frames per second? About 30, it seems about 30 frames a second, 0% frame loss. So we're doing pretty good. So as you can see, we have some spikes there and there, but go ahead and talk to Alina here. Focus on her. Sorry, I don't have a mouse hooked up to my laptop. And hit the shift key. Come on. There we go. Welcome back to the human embassy, Commander Shepard. How may I help? So I just making this quick video to show you how you could test this out and try other programs and see what they work. Um, it's kind of fun and cool. Uh, that's all. Uh, hope they push more videos as I continue discovering more cool things with this and testing other things. I was just showing you that's the way I discovered to stream games from Origin onto in-home streaming with Steam without Steam games. Thanks for your time. Have a good day and hope to see you on the internet. Bye.